Well, hi, I'm Adrian, and we're wrapping up the 2018 spring season. I find myself in my native homeland of Canada. And just before we get into the fall and all the amazing hunts that we have in store, I just wanted to take a minute and reflect back on this incredible experience I had earlier this March in extreme southwest Texas. The focus on this quest was Awdad. This was an amazing, amazing experience that I just really am keen to share with everybody. These are true mountain sheep hunts. To get a big Awdad ram, you're either gonna have to earn it or get really, really lucky. And hey, sometimes it's a combination of both. In our case, we'd start the day by piling into a side-by-side -side and driving some of these rugged switchbacks up these mountains and get to a spot where we could oversee a large piece of terrain and bust out the optics. I mean, like any sheep hunt, you're gonna climb and you're gonna glass. And we spent a lot of time doing that. Zach and Troy spent a few days learning the few roads that access different parts of the ranch, a series of somewhat sketchy switchbacks, what could be driven, what needed to be hiked. And they fired both Chip and I up with some photos they took through their spotting scopes with their phones. Oh my goodness, monster rams. Both of them had said it's like nothing they'd ever seen before. Time stands still as Troy's trying to point out exactly where he's looking. I follow his fingers through my binoculars. He's telling me, look behind a clump of yuccas about 200 yards out. I'm trying to figure out exactly where he's pointing and then all I see are like these McDonald's arches just coming up over the vegetation and, and disappearing below it. I mean, I know that's gonna be a large sheep. Just looking back at Troy, seeing how excited he is. I mean, there was no time to really think about it. It was a no question shooter. In a panic, we start unstrapping our Red Rock rifles on the packs, getting into a prone position, looking for ammunition. Like we really, we just were not ready. I mean, this, this ram just sort of came out of nowhere. The ram sort of gave us a look. I fired the first time and missed him. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I think it was 180 yards and we all expected that ram to just disappear. But fortunately the first shot didn't scare him off. He rearranged himself. I found my window. He was slightly quartering away. I squeezed one off and it sounded like a great hit. The guys said they saw the impact and it was high shoulder. I expected him to fold up right there, but these are tough animals. I mean, we're shooting 28 and 30 Nosler. These are, these are big bullets. All this happens in mere seconds. We're freaking out. I'm trying to, you know, get back on the Audad reload, rechamber the rifle, and you watch him just stop and pile up. And it's just one of those sighs of relief where you think, oh, that's over with. Like, I can't believe what just happened. And just as the adrenaline is subsiding and the energy from what just happened is starting to kind of sink in, Troy yells out, there's another ram. It's just as big. Oh my goodness, someone get on that ram. So clearly, chips up to bat. I mean, what are the chances? Two big rams. We haven't seen a ram in a couple days. Two big rams next to each other inside of 200 yards. Chip lines up, takes a great shot quartering away, hit that ram squarely in the vitals, and it went down. So after sitting there speechless for a while, I mean, it all just started to really sink in. The four of us, brothers now in a sense, on top of this mountain with these two old ancient rams. I mean, it was just one of those incredible moments in a hunter's career that he'll always cherish. I know I will never forget that, and neither will the boys. I was so pleased that I was able to take such an incredible Audad, and I was so happy for Chip that he was able to take such a out of this world, equally monstrous Audad with more experience on the land and a really kind of selective harvest. I expect that potentially one of the top Audad of all time is gonna come out of this property. And if that's something that you'd like to experience, if, if a big old ancient Audad is on your bucket list, Zach, Troy, and myself would be so happy to set it all up for you, bring you right to this same area, hunt these same sheep. You owe it to yourself to come experience this. It was just an absolute memorable off the charts type hunt in the great state of Texas.